Hello, hello. We're live today with One Stroke Painting with Donna Dewberry. Welcome to uh, my demo and my um, little live that I'm going to share with you what's going on in the One Stroke world right now. We have lots of fun um, activities around with One Stroke. I'm going to be painting today. I just want to team with a couple of pictures that I think you might like and some pictures that are coming up right here in the future and our convention that we're having just a few things to inspire you guys to do one stroke painting with me all right so painting and using the right amount of paint and brushes i want you to see that um we have different elements that are going to help you paint and make it easy for you i've got my paint ready to do some painting with you so hello melissa and I'm going to share that with you today. And let's just, let's get some people on and let you see what we're going to be doing. Hello, hello. It's nice to have you guys on. Here's the code today to save you money where you get 20% off. You go to my website, onestroke.com, and you put in that number when you're checking out. It'll give you 20%. So I was excited to share that with you. And we're going to get our paint ready and going to paint a really fun project that I think that it's, it's going to be easy to paint it with you and I can paint it so that you all can do it with me so come try that I put out some multi-surface paints all right so we have a classic green a neon right there I'm going to show you how to use that these are all multi-surface paints except for the neon okay so I'm going to use floating medium and that's in the middle and that's what with what's our painting, that's what we use instead of water, guys. So all of you out there that um, that haven't painted one stroke before, I think you'll really love what that's going to do for you. And so I put out some paints. I have a lid that goes on top of this. So this paint, this is a double loader that's inside my palette. And there's a brush basis. So those are kind of like my tools. I'll share more with you later. But this is one of my paintings from One Stroke Advantage on my YouTube Donna Dewberry channel. So check it out. I'm going to show you some with this a little bit later and some of the tools that I use. Okay. So let's get some people on and let's get some painting going first. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a canvas and I'm going to put some, I'm going to sponge on this canvas some pretty colors for the background all right so um i'm gonna put a little bit of metallic gold all right so let's put right in here all right that's also multi-surface metallic gold and we have treasure gold too so it's pretty awesome all right so what i'm doing is i want to take this dampened sponge and i don't want it dampen so i gotta kind of dry it off all right so hello everybody uh, we got people from Australia, all over the country, a bunch of my educators on. Thank you for coming on. I didn't even tell you guys that I was going to be on, so it's nice to see y'all. All right, so I'm going to take this smaller canvas. This looks like, um, oh, let's see, probably a 9 by 10, something like that. No, 8 by 10. All right, so I'm just going to put some little bits. This is shiny, a little bit of metallic in the background. All right, and these are my painter sponges. So these right here, this is a well-used one. This is a set, and these are all on my website, and you get 20% off um, with the coupon that I'm going to be sharing with you. So be sure to keep on and watch for a few minutes, and I'll get to that point. I'm going to put some of the um, blue peacock, all right? I'm going to put this here so you can see. I'm going to make some really muted, which means a little bit of white to really mute that. See, it's a little too much. There we go. A little muted. A little bit of teal will change the color. Okay, so this is going to be a fun painting. So I, I'm letting you know that this is one that would be good if y'all have your paintbrushes around. We're going to just sponge the background, but if you want to try it on art paper or something and then paint it on canvas later, there, I'm going to be teaching you some fun strokes on here today. This is just one of my free lives. 
I'd like to share with you who've never seen one stroke, what you can do. We've got all kinds of wonderful educators on that started coming on here. Yeah, guys, uh, you're going to, what you making? I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm going to make some fern and flowers and just some fun looks, okay? So see, I'm getting a little bit of a background in there, a little bit of white still there, metallic. And the other thing I'd like to share with you is that you can use your mop. All right, there's two sizes of mop brushes. All these are online, very inexpensive, great deal when you get 20% off. All right, so there's a the small mop and the uh, three-quarter watt mop. And be looking because I just got a new mop and I was doing on my Facebook Live from yesterday. So I can come in here with this wet and I can change up the colors if I want to. I don't need the little one right now. I can do foliage with this. There's all kinds of fun things I can do with this brush but let's see I can even add some water and I can do some dripping of oh, this is neon color okay let's get a little bit of neon and till okay let's put water in here watch this get a drippy effect for a background okay all right so i do have a heat pen that now this if i if i get that off right now it's going to leave a white spot so i don't want to do that so i'm just going to take my heat pen i spent my homework for the next week Oh, I'll go check it, Robin. Thank you. Okay, so let me get a paper towel. See, if I tap that off, yeah, see, it takes off the paint. Oh, Kim, that's very nice of you. Thank you. All right, so I want y'all to see. Okay. Now that's the heat pen and it. it can help move the paint color. Now what I like to show you, let's move that around a little bit. Okay. See how that, that's what happens if you even get one little water spot even. Okay, so I can come in here with my mop I'm gonna dry my mop off okay now watch what happens here I'm gonna come down here with some teal so I'm picking up white and teal okay blue and teal with the mop brush and it makes great foliage okay so we're gonna come right here and I can cover that where the water was dropped on there. So let's get some metallic gold in there too. See that? Let's get metallic gold, straight metallic gold. This is not treasure gold. This is just a multi-surface um, 14 karat gold. All right. This will be okay where that drip mark is where it took off the paint down here because I am going to put some more grass and greenery in there. Okay, so when this metallic dries, it looks awesome. So there's a metallic in here and a metallic there. Okay, so I'll just put this back in the water. And we are going to come in here with a 16. All right, and then we're going to stage down to like an eight flat. All right, now what I'm showing you with my brushes is these are the brushes that I have. You get 20% off, and this is a value pack that we use the most. These are my signature brushes, but these are very uh, a good value. That's why we call it value pack if you're just started painting with me. 
and that and the sponge, okay? So what I want to show you is that you could take this coupon on, um, the, if you tried this a long time ago, a couple of weeks ago, um, they had put by accident two twos on the, on the website, but this works now. Okay. And it's 20% off any order that's $40 or more. Now, if you're a member on my, um, YouTube Donna Dewberry channel, then if you are a member of the one stroke advantage, you get, um, 20% off anytime. All right. So I'm going to work this in. And this is going to be right here. This is a double loader to help you when you're first starting out that you can come right in here and work it, work it, work it. Okay. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put treasure gold there. I mean, it's not treasure gold. It's a uh, 14 karat gold. All right. So let's add some of this in here and a little bit of yellow ochre. Let's do that. So I just, I'm just playing with multi-loading these different colors to get what I want. All right. So I'm going to come way up here and I'm up on the chisel of the brush, right up on the, this edge of the brush. Okay. Um, happy Easter, everybody. Um, we're having um, pre-Easter egg hunt with my grandchildren tomorrow so that we can go Easter Sunday to church. So we're all doing it early, and it's a beautiful week to celebrate our Savior. Okay, so I want you to see, I'm going to put some treasure gold in there. I am not putting treasure gold. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. This is yellow ochre and 14 karat gold, all multi-surface paint. I think I'm getting it right. Okay, so what I want to do is make these really thin and very transparent. Okay, and I even have one that comes all the way up here. Okay, so we can just put this little grass in here. And what's going to happen is the metallic's going to show through really pretty as we paint. So you see how many grandchildren? I have 31 grandchildren and five great grandchildren. And uh, three of the, I mean, two of those. I have one great grandchild that is blood. The others are married in. But I have a second one coming. So two this year, it's going to be so fun. When those 31 start having babies, watch out, right? I have a lot of babies. All right. So you see I'm getting the stem in, so I'm ready. This is an 8 by 10. Thank you. And then I'm going to come in here. Where's the smaller brush I brought over here? Oh, right here. I'm going to come in here with those same colors. So yellow ochre, some 14 karat, and I will dabble in some burnt umber and some of the green. So this is what I want to show you. I'm going to come just like this. And I'm going to do little slender. Little slender. And this is kind of like when I do peacock feathers. Okay, so I'm up on the chisel. And I come wandering across and overlap sometimes. On the peacock feather, I do the eye up here. And then I do the feathers like this. So this is one stroke painting. I'm Donna Dewberry. And this is the Donna Dewberry channel right here on YouTube. I have lots of shorts and different projects. I come on every Wednesday, guys, and every Friday for free and give you lessons and practice strokes. And if you hit join, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't. Please subscribe so that you can see whenever I'm going to be on. And if you ring the bell, it lets you know right on your email, on your phone or your device that I'm on. See how that looks like it's wondering kind of. All right. So I'm going to do some big flowers on here, which will be really fun. 
but I want you to see that backgrounds and different designs of greenery and fern that we put on here makes this look more, um, more like, you know, so much talent and know everything you're doing. All right. So see this, I started getting larger down here and having layers of different lightnesses or heavy. Can you see how it's starting to get heavy? Okay, so just like a peacock feather. And I've got all these beautiful metallics that I use. Color shift and different uh, glitters that I use. Now, this is just supposed to be like um, a weed or, you know, sometimes the weeds are prettier than the real plant. My grandson comes and helps me weed and he's like 15. And he goes, meanwhile, come look at this because meanwhile, this this looks really pretty. Are you sure it's a weed? <laughs> and I love it because he's learned to really like plants. All right. So, all right. Now this short one here is little teeny. Let's do a few less on it. Be sure to stand up on the chisel, right on the chisel. And as you're doing this, I want you to see, we're going to get a couple more colors. All right, so what happens in here is we're going to take these colors. It's one stroke painting, so I could just kind of wipe and then go pick up the next color. So this next color is going to be this blue peacock here. And I could keep picking up the metallic with the blue peacock. And I want to show you that on this one, watch this. It's a little feather. Actually, I've got another brush I want to show you for this. I'll put a few in here. I'll do some of these afterwards too. But I have a set of rakes. See these little rake? Because it makes it look like you're an artist. So you know exactly what you're doing. Because you can take these and work on this little bit. As this dries, so you, the metallics turn out so good. All right. I, I wet that. I just dampen it. And then I'm going to pick up the peacock. And then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it really thin, thin, thin. See? That's, oh, I just got medium. I meant to get water. Okay. All right, you lay it flat a little bit and get little feathery looks. Okay, a little bit here. This is the smallest brush in that group, okay? And I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because you can still do this while it's just fresh. I don't like how I did this, so I can come in here with a wet brush and just wipe that right off. Okay. And there you go. All right, so we want a watercolor look. Hi, Kat. Okay, so those are a couple of blue ones that um, we're going to do, but I'm going to come in here after I put the flower, and we're going to put some really pretty um fern that is different than this okay now what's going to happen is i want to use my three quarter flat this is all in that value pack i was just showing you guys okay so let's come in here and let's dampen this brush lay it on the paper towel okay then we're going to pick up this blue and i'm going to in the double loader i'm going to come right here and i'm going to do two-thirds blue, one-third white, and then I'm going to come right here. So I split it here, and over here, I'm not splitting it. I'm just working it in, back and forth, back and forth, and this is a pretty color that we're going to get. Okay, I need, I need, I put too much white just then, so I pick it up about three times, all right, and then I can go into the medium because we don't use water. It takes me days to do what you guys do in 30 minutes. Oh, okay. But the beauty of this live is that you can go back and watch it over and over. Okay, 
So I'm going to come right up here and I want to dip a little bit of white. If you're out there having difficulties, this double loader is the key to learning how to do my strokes. Okay, so there's the first petal. Okay, I want to come up here with some more white. Look, we can pull it this way. Okay, there's the first petal. All right, I'm just picking up more paint and flatten it out. All right, so I'm going to come right here, slide up, and pull down. Okay, let's pick up more white and flatten it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a center in there. But the first thing I need to do is come up here. I'm going to come in the back here and slide. Okay, but this stroke right here is coming in front. So see how those different layers of petal are? You like that color? All right, so look, I'm going to come out here. Slide up, pressure, lift, push, and stand up. All right. I'm going to pick up a little bit more, dip the white, and flatten it. And I'm going to come right in here. And that's coming towards us. Do you see that? This one. And then come up. This is all with a large three-quarter brush. All right, so let's get some more white. Now I'm going to come right in here. This is going to come up and split, come up again. And then I'm going to roll the white over. So if I rolled the white over, it would be like this. Okay. And then let's have one more that comes right here. Push down and stand up. And I'm going to grab a little bit of white and put it on top. All right. I actually want to start grammar. I would love to be. We would love for you to be too. All right. Before I put anything here, okay, I could come in here and darken it a little bit. Let's see how dark this is right here. Let's put a little bit of dark in here. All right, so now I just want to make sure you can really see the white. Okay. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to put in some yellow ochre. We can use our scruffy. We have a little scruffy in here. All right, so you're going to fluff the scruffy. This is all natural hairs. The other ha uh, hairs on my brushes are synthetic nylon. So that's what makes them spring and do really well. All right, so I'm going to take and tap, 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 tap. And I've got to do this because we're going to put a petal over it, and I need that dry. Just come up a little bit higher. So that is yellow ochre with a teeny bit of daffodil to make it bright on the tips. And then I can come in with a little bit of white and just tap, tap, tap with some white and give you a glow. All right. And a little bit later, maybe now, <laughs> I'm going to come right in here and tap some brown. This is burn number right in here. Okay, I'm going to put petals over that, but I want that dry before I do that. So I don't know if y'all saw this, um, but this is the coupon for today for my lives. I try to give you a discount. This is 92440. You go to onestroke.com and all the products I'm using are right on my channel on my website and you get 20% off any order that's $40 or more. So you can't combine it with a second discount, but this works for you and everything I'm going to be showing you today. So we got the value pack brushes, which we're in here to sit off. 
We've got the sponge painters that I'm using. And we've got my signature set of brushes. This is my best set, 13 pieces. All right, these are the 10 most used brushes. And these are the 13 most used brushes. And in my tin, I have flats, brushes, liners, all of that in there for you. Okay, so I want this to dry up a little bit. And this heat pen is great for when we're painting on glass and other surfaces. All right, because it, it can speed up what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead over here. Where's my brush? I'm going to go ahead and get the back of this flower. I made this a little small. I might have to add a couple more petals in there. Like if I come out here a little bit more. Let's pick up a little bit more white. Okay. Just because I want it a little bit larger. All right. Well, since this one is already done, I can make this one over here larger, maybe. All right. So I've got blue peacock and worker white, and I'm flattening it out. And I'm going to come right in here and go up to get my petal. And then I slide down. All right. So I can come up. All right. And I could just tip the white and push down and pull, push down and pull, push down and pull. But if you just do white, you're going to get some nice streaks in there. All right. Came home from work set. Great. Makes me feel better. What you think, you? I hope you feel better, honey. See the double loader I'm picking up, splitting that, coming here, working it in. No water. We use floating medium right there if we need it. All right. So I'm going to come back here. This is blue peacock, and I'm sliding. All right. So I'm going to pick up more over here. All right, I'm making this one a little bit bigger because I got so small in the first one. All right, so. All right, because I want to get the yellow in this um, for the front petals. Okay, so I'm going to come right along here. Pick up a little bit more white. See how I'm sliding that? Now look what happens. I'm right here. I lay it down. I stand it up. I move the white up. And I lost my white. So let's do it again. Lay that up. And see how that white makes the petal look like it's coming up? Nice. Hello. It's nice to see you, Chrissy. Blue peacock is gorgeous. I know. It's a pretty color, isn't it? Okay. So what we want to do is we have a big one-stroke convention in July every year right here by the Orlando Airport. So I'd like to invite you guys to come. We help any, anybody, no matter what level. We've got all kinds of brand new people that come. So we'd love to have you guys come and paint with us. All right. So now what has to happen is... I I am going to pull out some Prussian blue. Where's my Prussian blue? I'm going to pull out a little bit. Oh, this is just darker ink spot. Let's see. And the go night. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to find every color but the color I want tonight. Well, maybe we're using ink spot. Okay. Oh, there we are. All right, so I like pressure blue because it goes with any kind of blue. Could anyone come who I've never learned? 
or you can come, but between now and then, if you practice some of my practice strokes, of course you can come. But if you come, um, if you practice some of my practice strokes that we have people binge on those right on my website, that will help you feel better about knowing what we're talking about a little bit. And they're like tutorials. And so people just sit there and binge on them, spend some time, like even if you spend um, an hour, two or three times a week, it'll make a huge difference. All right. So I am going to pick up some of this ink. This is a Prussian, but I want you to see that what's wonderful about this is that we can bring it up under here and watch what happens here. All right. We're going to get some deep colors in there. Thought you were on at seven. Did I say seven? I was going to come home on sometime tonight, but I have been working all day getting ready for our Easter Easter egg hunt with my a bunch of my grandbabies tomorrow. So I thought I'm going to come on and just do it really quick with you guys. You can always start this over and watch it a little bit later because it stays here. All right. I love coming on. I try to do some time on Saturdays because sometimes I'm traveling out of the state and then I get home and I can come in here and share with you. So see that just makes it richer. How many eggs did you get? We got 200, but we don't have all 30 here. So we got about 20 grandchildren and we have about 20 that we're going to put dollar bills and coins in it because they get excited. But my husband and I sit here and loaded them all. Okay, so look, I'm going to go ahead and put this. I'm going to kind of use, this has to be dry before I put floating medium and try to use floating medium. So I'm just picking up paint and I'm adding it to that wet. All right, tomorrow is actually Palm Sunday and Next Sunday's Easter. Yes, I know that, but I wanted, we all wanted to go to our church services on that next Sunday. So, and they are, some of them are two hours away, an hour away. So I said, why don't everybody come this week and then they can still go do all the stuff that they do. You know, when they start having other family, then we have to share. So I know it's next Sunday. But I chose to plan it for this, this Sunday. So I know that, Miss Kim. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to heat this up right here just a little bit. And this is ready for me to put my top layer on it. Now see how that background gives you this more? So I want you to see. I'm going to come up here and take this. And then that will be dry enough for me. So see, doesn't that make it deeper, richer? Now, here I go again. I'm going to split this one third white. I split it at, with the blue peacock. This is all multi-surface paint, guys. And so it's got a sealer in it. It goes on glass, metal, ceramic. It already has a sealer in it. It goes outside. Just saw this. All right. So... Um, I'm going to come right on here. If you ring the bell on my, uh, when you subscribe on my site, it'll tell you exactly when I'm coming on. It lets you know. All right. So I'm going to start right here. Now nah, I'm going to come over here first. I'm going to come up. Looking at just the white and rolling it down. Okay. Did y'all see that? All right, so now watch, you can go back and watch it a couple times. That, that'll help you. That's why I tell you to do on my practice strokes. All right, so right in here. So we love y'all to come to convention. We have all that information on my website, onestroke.com. You can come to convention and paint with us. We have a fashion show. We have a lot of the meals. You get all your breakfast because it's an embassy suite. 
but you also, we have big luncheon buffets. So lots of people then don't even worry about dinner because we have such a nice setup. All right. So do you see that? Now I can come in here and I can go just like this. I'm going to, oops, a little bit too much. I'm going to come out and I'm going to come here and move the white in and roll it. And see, it looks like you've got these extra petals out here that will roll up even. All right. It looks like a white fence in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's actually metallic gold. And some of this you don't see until it dries. See, I want to make sure the white's nice and bright in there. All right. See, I could have put a little bit up here, but you just keep working with it until you get the colors that you want. All right, so over here, I'm going to take this scruffy again. And so I get, I pounce it. These are natural hairs. I pounce the yellow ochre, then I pounce the yellow, which is a daffodil yellow. See how bright that gets? And the yellow ochre makes the center a little darker. All right, when that's dry, I even like to come in when that's dry and put a little bit of pounced white in there. All right, so I put that in the water after that final time, okay? So one of the things I like to do is I have this little kiss tool on my website. It's called a wipe away tool. tool. It's, it's less than $4. It's three something. It's really good. And it's rubber. And so when you tap it, you can get all this little detail. I hope you like this. Y'all are learning something. We are going to just keep coming in here and adding little details that make it really more ornate. We're going to do a really pretty fern I like. I will show you how fun it is in just a minute. All right. And hi, Lucy. All right, and all of you who were on live on Facebook with me last night, yesterday evening, I, Mark and I got all those invoices out today. I'm going to be in North Carolina in Albemarle um, in a few weeks doing a three-day event there. And anybody who said, please bring me stuff there, we're going to have a hard time getting everything we need to bring and we will have some uh, some extra product but if y'all wanted that big mop brush that mop brush is going to go maybe even before i get there so if you want to order that for us to ship it you got to order that that way now see look at all the details what did you miss Oh, you can go watch it. It's on Facebook. It's on Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group. And that was my live yesterday. I had a lot of new stuff. You can still order. We've had people ordering all day today. So if you want to go watch it, I have some new things coming in. They're not on. Some of them are not on our website yet. So you would have to go check them out there. They will come on after we get this first order in. And for any of you out there that are new YouTubers, uh, if you order on my website, that's the fastest way to get a product. If you order on my Facebook uh, promotions, those take a week to three weeks, depending. All right. So it depends on how many orders we get and how many we have to order extra you see how that pedal is now you see i am touching leaning and standing up okay so i've got the blue peacock and worker white all right so now i'm going to come up here all right see how that gives you layers Okay, I'm going to come down here a little bit more. And I don't even look, oh, I, oh I'm going to go over that part that I did underneath that I spent that time. I don't even do that. I just look at how I want these petals to look under here. 
So you slide that darker blue and then roll the white. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. So now I'm going to come in here with a little bit of green. And you'll see I pick up the classic green with the blue peacock a little bit more. This controls you too because when you're learning how to load, you don't want to go more than two inches. All right. So I can even come up here with some blue. So to do this center, uh, you know what? This does not come around right. I'm going to take some of that off. The good thing about one stroke painting is that you can change it and get some off of there. Okay. Now, oh, I'm doing that. Not on my paper towel. That's not good. There we go. I thought it was going to come a little higher there. All right. So I'm going to come under here. This is going to, you go from the center and you come right here and you pull. Now see how that pops, how it jumps out at you. Now you're going to come over here, right from here. All right. And I am going to come in here and put one little um, pod here from the poppy that's just getting ready to bud out here. Okay, and those are fuzzy. So when they're fuzzy, I go back to those little rake brushes. All right, so I'm going to throw that in the water. I'm going to come here with the rake. And there's two different rake sizes, so pick the one that you want. I'm going to come in between the two greens. Uh, this is classic green and citrus green. Okay, so I'm going to come right here. And we're going to pull it down. And I'm on the chisel of this brush. But when I'm doing the stems, they need to be fuzzy. All right, so I can pull a little bit of white. No water, no medium. Put a little bit more. Okay. Now let's get the blue. And we're going to come up. And we're going to come around. All right. And now I'm going to flatten this out. Take off the white. Go on the paper towel. Come over here. And then get some green or teal. All right, and so look what happens here. I'm going to be on the chisel. Chisel, chisel. Okay, see how fuzzy that gets? Isn't that pretty? All right, so what happens with these poppies? And it might not show it on here, but we they kind of have little spiky I got in a poppy field once. It was the coolest thing I could ever, ever did. I was amazed. I even fell in the middle of them. I was so excited running around. <laughs> Mark would have been upset because <laughs> it's like I'm so clumsy. And they hurt because the stalks were sticking. had been broken off and sticking up. But when I picked up the poppies, they were bigger than my hand. So I, as I held it and the wind was blowing, all the black inside, it doesn't even look real. It's black, like purple black. And it got all over me. But it was just the coolest thing. I was in there with a bunch of my granddaughters. And they like to go in there and take pictures with their friends. Okay. Last couple of times I went, they weren't, it wasn't like that. But it was pretty darn amazing. And fields and fields of them and up a mountain edge or I call it a mountain because I'm from Florida <laughs> okay so I'm going to get my 8 oh actually this is a 10 all right and so I want to show you these see how that little bit of fuzzy on the stem it actually goes on a lot all right so then I want to do this burn all right, and I'm trying to get this exact color. So I'm going to go in between 
the two colors and go over here and get some blue, Prussian blue. Let's get, uh, I guess it's a little bit of teal with that blue and a teeny bit of white. It looks a little aged. All right, now floating medium. So I dip straight in the floating medium, straight in and work it in. Okay, so we're going to come right along here. Okay, and that's up on the chisel of the brush. <laughs> I know it was fun. Okay, so look what happens here. I'm going to come up to a point, come up to a point, up to a point. I wiggle up and come back down. All right, so let's go on this really close. All right, so I can bring a couple out here. So look. And come back down. All right, so. So the medium makes it kind of thin. Okay, so. So we're going to just, all right, we'll put a little bit of white because I don't think you can see. All right. All right, so watch what I'm doing. I'm wiggling up. I'm almost off here, wait a minute. I'll wiggle back. So I, I work this white in though, so. A little bit more white. It's just to get that muted watercolor look kind of but do it in an easy way, right? So see how that's starting to lag? <laughs> All right, so this just takes a little bit of practice, but I show you how to practice this on practice strokes. You look for all the different leaves that I'm doing, and it shows you exactly how to do that. So good. So flatten the brush in there. All right, let's get some medium, flatten it with the white after I've got all that color on here. All right, so. All right. Now, I want to show you a couple of other things that I think you'll like. I just keep going, and it's getting bigger and bigger as we go. And. See, you can come in here with some of the darker blue. This is Prussian. And down at the bottom more, is that kind of fun? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle out and come back. But see, I put a lot of medium, so it was kind of transparent. All right, so I think I'm going to bring the Prussian blue down in here. Okay. Connor, did you see my Patreon piece painted by the window? I posted it in your group and on my page. Oh, did I? I saw somebody in a couple of places. That might have been you with the blue vase. I'll have to go look again. I'll look more defined. I've been going like a crazy woman. What do you think about it? It sounds like you were happy. That's what we want to know. Okay, so I'm doing the blue peacock. And look, I, I scrub it up and kind of wiggle it coming down. Some of this one that looks like this doesn't kind of look like it's underwater. When you do some of these loose ones like this. 
That's what my husband says sometimes. That looks like an undersea with the watery effects at the bottom. All right, so I think this needs a little something there, a little something there. But um, but see, this one's not showing up. So the thing that works good is if, like, we pick something. I've got, I've got white under there, but what if we pick and just float? This is floating medium on here with some of the color. Eh. Let's put a little bit of pressure underneath here. All right, so so I don't want that extra ridge there, so I can just come in here and wipe it off. See, so it can just strip. Just a little bit. All right, so let me show you a couple of things. All right, so we have, there's your discount. All right, so I want you to see that I did this painting right here. I did this one on our last one, and I just did this process right here. So this is with my butterfly, and it's a monarch, okay? So I lay it on there, and I stencil it all like a light gray or white. And then I come in here, I stencil this one all white. And then I base coat the colors that I want it to be. And then I come back, you can lay this back on it and do the black again, but I use a liner. And sometimes people want to use an Identa pen. But I want you to see that's exactly what I did on here. After I stencil, so I don't have to trace the pattern. And with butterflies, you want them exact on both sides. And so these are monarchs in this stencil of mine. Let's see if I can show you. All right. And this stencil, it has a large monarch, a medium, a smaller, and a smaller one. All right. They, these are Donna Jewelry design stencils that I made. And so I want you to see when you go look at them, I made sure you have different sizes, side view. And that's just all butterflies. And on here, everybody has light wanted one with my dragonflies. So there's side views, different sizes of the dragonflies. There's a butterfly where this wings up and this one's back. So you put a little shadow in there. Oh, this was down. This one's flying up. So I shadow right under here with gray and it looks like it's raised and flying. Then I did all these different side versions. But this is a side, a medium, and a large of this, this uh, butterfly. But this could look like a moth too. And then I have three other sides. So all you do is flip it over and you could do both. Now, my daughter and my husband said nobody's going to buy both. But I have to tell you, I, there, I wanted them actual sizes and larger so, so to go in your paintings. So listen, people are buying both. Most people buy both. And so um, they were teasing me that wasn't going to happen. But guess what? There we go. Look, that's what it's made for. So you can flip this on there really quick, make it happen. Still haven't used them yet. Well, you got to get it out and use it. I'm trying to do more so I'm using them more so you'll see. Um, I was sharing with people that my bottles, we've got bottles uh, and all kinds of jars and bottles. We have also books, and you can raise it and make, make it a box. And they're templates. All right, so now this one I wanted to show you is a pattern that just you lay it here, and you stencil it with white. And what that does is it gives you the bunnies, the flowers that you want, the butterfly. You can put multiple butterflies by flipping it. But what I made on this one, if it's a 12 by 12 canvas, or scrapbooking paper, or piece of wood, and you have one, two, three borders. So it's made to go, and you stencil it all at once, has the whole pattern on there. Or you can stencil it with colors, but I want you to see that this was just a really quick demo. This is on wood. So in this packet, you're going to get four colored sheets showing you step by step by step 
on the spotting one and that's also on my website so just sharing a few of the things that are real popular right now and what i meant to do when i forgot i meant to do this i meant to stencil in the background a tone on tone on this where you just see shadows in the background but i made a different kind of shadow so it works right um this right here is i don't know if you can see but it is um, for a dollar more, each one of the six by sixes costs a dollar less than all four of these on here. So I chose to put four different items on this and you can move it around like an all over background, uh, like a faded shadowing. So this is hydrangeas. This is wisteria hanging. Can you see? This is small fern and large fern. All right, so this is called an all-over print. All right, all-over stencil. And I took a bunch of my samples into the office, to, so we don't have them here. But um, let me show you again. If you go on the website, we have all the tools. Let's put this up here. We also have the size, my 10 most used, my 13 most used. These are the most... Uh, these are the most higher quality brushes I have. And now I have new ones that are coming out. And I have the sponge painter. I have the tools, the double loader, the palette, and the brush basin. My stencil brushes that I have my dear friend, Miss Paula, make for me. These are a three-piece set. They're synthetic nylon. And all the other stencil brushes are really dry, rough, and they go under the stencil so you don't have much success. The key is, is to watch my tutorial on practice strokes on my website. It's free, and it shows you how to use this and how to use the stencils, all right? So I want you to see. Thank you, especially me. Aw. All right, so I've got a 12, a 16, and a 20 that are in the set, and getting your 20% off right now is a really great deal. Okay, and then I have the mop brushes. I have the two sizes I was sharing with you. I've been doing all my backgrounds and foliage and all uh, with those two. And then they have two rakes. These are all nice quality new brushes that I've created to come out with. And um, this one I want to share with you too. Not all paint comes in eight ounces, but this is titanium white. Um, it's the same if you're using a wicker white, but this the, the only white that they have in eight ounces at plaid is the titanium white. But I always keep these big bottles with me because we go through so much. Thank you. The stencil brushes are incredible. You're right. And to get an eight ounce floating medium is really smart because we don't use water. We go into our medium a lot, and that's how we do our strokes, and especially if you're on dry surfaces sometimes wood or other i don't know if you can see now but see all the metallic showing through there it makes a big difference when you get to see all that and i was gonna do something on these i think i'll put another little flower all right um i was also we got um crystal clear gallery glass liquid that i showed how to put on on the demo i just did on, on uh, Facebook. Let's see how this crystal clear looks. Uh, nope. <laughs> Let's see if you can see it there. All right. So I put that on there, and which is really nice because this is how it looks. Oh, I put it on all these. Let's see. This is what it looks like. These are gallery glass surfaces. They're great. Um, oh, you got to watch it. I know. See, here it is with nothing on it. Okay. All right, it's just clear. But sometimes these get scratched or whatever. But to give it that gallery glass look like this is called gallery glass. It's faux um, uh, stained glass look. I hand painted each one of these. These surfaces come three in a pack. And they are um, very inexpensive. But they're really big and nice. I use them for ornaments or just for nice gifts with bows on them. This is using our multi-surface because our multi-surface has a sealer in it, guys. All right. And so I take the tube, and I swear I had the tube right here, and I zigzag all along like vertigree. 
and see how nice that makes it. So it just adds another dimension to your pretty pieces. All right. Okay. So I think that's all these. The heat pen is on there with your 20% coupon. I mean, code. So the heat pen is really good, especially when we're working on glass. See, when we're doing the glass, and I want to heat up this that so I can do my centers. Um, and if you get a chance, go to my Facebook group. Uh, what Zoom class? Mm, we have a Zoom class coming up soon. Mm, not today. <laughs> not today. Uh, combine different techniques and many beautiful pieces. Thank you. About how much is convention? Um, so I like to share convention. You have to go look. You put down, I think, um, one hundred fifty dollars uh, deposit. You, the, you have to. We have the hotel and all the information on the website, and you can make payments if you get a hold of uh, our offices. You can make payments. Here's some of the projects that we're going to learn. I'm just teasing you. I have stencils for the birds. And here's another bird that we have with a stencil. This There's a whole bunch of birds on one stencil. All right, this is a new stencil that I'm teaching you how to go do paint parties with this at convention. Can you see the background? There's words. I hand painted this as a mock-up, but the stencil is going to lay on 11 by 14, stencil all that background, and then paint the flowers. So I, I will have like six different samples so that you can see all the different flowers of all kinds. Uh, it's on one stroke. Yes. One stroke.com. Sorry. One stroke.com. This is an all day project because we'll be learning wood grain, Trump oil to get, look how rough my hat looks. This is a stucco wall. And then we're doing the wildflowers, but um, boots because it's a country charm convention and then we have these are just a few of the pieces that we're going to be doing and so i love to share with you if you could get to orlando it's in july and come join us i'm telling you um you will have so much fun so many people will be there to share with you um we are i think we can take 70 this year so Please try to come It's at an embassy suite. We used to have four or 500. It's just too many people and crazy. COVID made us cut down. But you know what? We kind of stayed there because people were so happy. All right. So I teach you this lazy eye that we do and how to do the hair and all the scruffy, all the different things that we learn. This is a real quick holly kind of like that fern I was doing. I want you to come to Kim. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, talk to Amanda. Try to figure out how to make some payments and make it happen. All right. Thank you for being on with me. I appreciate you guys. I hope that you saw something you like. Please go check out my shorts on, on YouTube here. I try to keep uh, putting shorts up there so that you're inspired. And thanks for being on my live today.